Hey besties, so what I'm working on today is a goldfish box. My thought behind this was that um, I could bring the cost down a little bit than just buying a goldfish box for each child and applying a label. I could, you know, make this box and I was able to find a box of goldfish from Costco and you can just stuff the little bag inside. They were like 50 bags of goldfish for five or six dollars or you can even buy the carton of goldfish from uh, Smart and Final and that's about five or six dollars as well. You can fill it up with a resellable bag. So what I'm gonna do is start off by showing you how to use the template. When you upload it to Design Space, it will look pretty similar to this right here. I have done score lines for you as well. Um, so when you add it in, they're gonna come out like this. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is set my width to 6 inches and then the height is going to be 5.75 so I'm just going to adjust that to 5. Okay. And then for my score lines I'm going to go here and go to line type. I'll go to score and then I will just add this in here. I'm going to make this 6 inches. 3.7 inches okay so that is pretty much how your box will look um, before you begin your designing so I'm gonna go ahead and hide my score lines for right now and then I will start with my pattern I'm gonna go to print I will go to pattern and then I will insert it here So this logo right here I did in Photoshop. Um, it would be probably a little difficult to do with the stroke behind it in Cricut, but um, I will work on that and see if I can get uh, it to work for Cricut. And if I do, if I do get it to work, I will go ahead and do a video for you guys on how to do that. And then I will go ahead and insert circle right here. And I'm going to arrange it to the back. I'm going to arrange this to the front. And I'm going to insert in a pattern here over my circle. I'm going to edit this so it's a little bit more visible. And then I'm going to add in my goldfish logo, which I got from Google, and I just removed the goldfish wording on it. Okay, so that's pretty much all that I'm going to do there. I'm going to go ahead and flatten this. So all that I'm doing now is I'm just making sure that everything is within the space that it's supposed to be. You can go up this far, um, but this will be the bottom of your box. And this, of course, is the side. You can always put something there. I actually did have a happy Valentine's Day little theme here last week um, because that's what this video was supposed to be for. But something happened to my printer and it was a mess um, and because I am not at home, I am still remodeling, I just don't know where anything is right now. So forgive me for no videos for the last two weeks. I'm like living crazy right now. Um, but I'm doing my best and hopefully it is over very soon. Um, so the only thing left that I'm going to do since I have flattened my images as you can see here on the side though they're all in one um, flattened image I am going to go ahead and attach my score lines to my box so I will hit my attach um, as you can see here I'm going to do the same thing for this box I'm going to hit my attach and we're good to go. So now I'm going to go to make it and I have my print score cut here. I'm going to go to continue. I'm going to send to printer 
and I'm printing this on 110 pound cardstock. You can use 65 pound cardstock as well. Um, that worked pretty good for me. Um, so either one would be fine, whatever you have access to. And I will go to advanced options. I'm printing this on my HP. The only reason why I go to the print setup advanced options is because when I print in on glossy paper and stuff like that, this always reminds me to change my paper type. Um, so I, I do it as a habit. It's not like I'm actually changing anything for this particular um, project. Okay, so I'll go ahead and print and then I'm going to do my the other side of my box. I am going to use craft board as my setting because this is going to be a really thick paper. I'm going to set my scoring tools to a, a regular scoring wheel. I don't have the double scoring wheel. I will go to continue. So this was the initial concept for the box and um, I also found these at the 99 cent store for bubble gum so you can use it for other things. Um, so here are the how the boxes came out after my score lines are already done um, and for this 110 pound cardstock I did use the actual scoring wheel because it just makes a deeper um, score than the stylus does. So I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, my score pal tape and then um, we will go ahead and just get this done pretty quickly. So if you offer this on like your Etsy site or something like that, then you can always ship it like this to a customer, ship it flat, and then they can just um, pull off this adhesive strip. So you can go ahead and you can apply adhesive to this one side. and then you can open it like that and then you have you know whatever you decide to put in there goldfish or you know anything really so here is the end result and you can always add something right here on this side um, and then here are the other two boxes. So this was done with 110 pound cardstock, so it is very sturdy and um, should hold up nicely. You can also do it in 65 pound cardstock, which I also used. Um, 
before and it was still fine it's just that this is really really sturdy like you know it is really really sturdy so if you guys have any questions please let me know down below in the comments i thank you as always for watching and i'll see you on the next video Thank you.